Welcome to Guitars and Bacon, back again doing another reaction video, and today we're checking out Baby Metal's Ijime Dame Zetai. Now before we get started, if you want to talk about music, gear, recording, want to hang out, like play video games, head on over to my live stream. I stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Links down in the description below. So we are finally checking out Baby Metal and uh, this is actually due to one of our requests from our um, commenters as well from our past reaction videos. While I am quite familiar with Baby Metal, um, I'm not exactly a fan nor do I listen to them casually. Um, I have listened to one of their tunes in the past just to give them a try because um, that was around the time where they actually entered the scene or around the time they kind of like blew up in the scene. Um, a lot of people were uh, were uh, opposed to them, a lot of people loved them, and there's a bunch of metal icons who were vocally advertising that they really really liked uh, how the girls were performing or they liked uh, the energy that the girls were um, inserting into metal, which is quite quite different from how we normally see a metal band perform. I'm here to check out or give them another listen. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna hear with uh, Ijime Dame Zetai. I'm guessing the whole song might be in Japanese. Um, I do know that some of their tunes have some English um, words in, mixed in to it, but uh, they primarily sing in Japanese, I believe. Well, I'm not completely familiar with the band themselves. I do know that uh, their, their guitar player Takayoshi Omura was actually um, one of the uh, guitar players from Crosshard. I did like uh, their single Kiseki way way back then when I first discovered it. He's got amazing chops as a guitar player and uh, I'm curious how much of that guitar playing has actually influenced the sound of baby metal. And I'm not even sure if, uh, if this song was written with uh, Takayoshi Omura as well on the guitar when they were writing it. Um, so I'm very, very much a noob when uh, we're talking about like um, baby metal background. So I have no idea what their writing process is. Um, but we're gonna be checking them out. Um, uh, I do know because they kind of blew up a little bit as well uh, recently. Loudwire, I think, was the one who reported it that um, Baby Metal might actually be taking a hiatus, perhaps? I don't know if they're totally breaking up or they're just gonna be taking a break for a little bit. Um, and I also do know that uh, they originally were three uh, front ladies um, who were doing the dance and uh, the vocals for the group. I'm not quite certain what the exact status of baby metal because as I mentioned I'm not exactly a fan but we're gonna be checking them out either way so if you guys know what the answer to that is let me know down in the comments I'm still curious to know what's uh, what's happening on uh, on that particular side of things but hey we're checking out uh, Ijime Dame Zetai and um, let's get right to it Okay, uh, I love the guitar playing. Japanese guitar players really have a knack for creating some really tasty sounding riffs and uh, lead lead parts. That's kind of like one of the things I really liked about J-Rock in itself. 
And uh, although I haven't really listened to much J-Metal, um, damn, I'm still managed to make me smile when I listen to their guitar playing. It, it's kind of like, uh, it's hard not to appreciate how how tasty that sounded. Oh. But uh, that scream by the lady, I, I, I apologize. I can't remember all of their names and who is who. I do know um, there's Sue Metal, there's Moe Metal. And uh, I forgot. It's like, ah, well, uh, the lady who did the vocals was uh, was interesting. That was a nice, uh, nice uh, scream that she tried to do there. The the other two girls were very high energy though. The, the how they were running back and forth. I, I think they're trying to simulate a wall of death with just the two of them on stage. It's just kind of cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, the guitar sound is really really good nice and chunky um, and uh, the mix is sounding good so far I'm really liking how melodic the guitar playing is on this tune. How the chords are transitioning from one to the other. It's it's like it's never a boring piece of guitar work from what I can hear. As a guitar player, I am quite I am quite 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 enthused by how they've written this particular riff. It, it's not um, it's not boring at all to the ears. She's singing her heart out as uh, as I can hear so far. The other two gals seem to be um, providing a nice little uh, backup there with a uh, doing like dame dame on on the chorus. I think that I think that might be the chorus. Um, it's it's nice. I mean, <laughs> the the way they're head banging, doing their head their windmills uh, while performing was cute with with the <laughs> the ponytails just. The pigtail is just uh, flailing all about. It's it's an interesting sight. Uh, I can I can guess why um, some people do find them quite um, quite pleasant to the ears. But the guitar playing is just taking the cake for me as a guitar player. I can't wait to hear a solo because I'm I'm guessing this is gonna be uh, one of those tunes that has an impressive solo, very almost shred fest, but incredibly melodic. So let's see. I'm calling it right now. Nicely executed high note there. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, 
Yeah, and the other thing that I've yeah I've noticed, yeah, I guess with, this is mostly also with uh, with a lot of Japanese rock tunes. They don't generally stick with like a four chord progression. Like it's it's very all over the place. You know, it it kind of matches with how the drum sometimes moves. This is quite nice. It's not exactly like super heavy or anything, but it's uh you know it's I, I'd probably think this sounds a bit more J rockish than actual uh, metal. Although the heavy guitars would probably. Um, uh, would be something more along the lines of like the guitar tones might actually go a bit more on metal side of things but it's it's i don't know it, it's it's incredibly melodic i gotta i gotta say that's that's that say though the bass players doing some awesome limes hit this is uh, this is the thing with uh, with with metal tunes and the, the bass player he's like all moving those fingers yeah I think he might be doing a three-fingered um, picking hand too so that was pretty cool I would have loved to have his bass louder in my ear though I think the I, I don't know if it's just me but I think the guitar is really really huge sounding but the bass is kind of like a little bit too much in the uh, kind of like it feels a little bit confined for me one of the hard things when doing a mix for a live show um, but I gotta check out I guess um, how this sounds uh, from the record I am assuming there might be a huge difference with the with the balance of the bass and the guitars there Man, I knew it I also called it the solo is really really good um, it was it was very very much a a good extension of the song. It was kind of like hyping up the next section, and uh, it was like building all that anticipation up for the next part. So that's really really good. <laughs>
Is this the encore? Or is this like the final song in their set? Sonosphere. Nice. Seemed like a good show. I thought it was pretty good. I kind of liked that more than... Uh, it definitely made a lot more of an impression than when I listened to... I think it was Gimme Chocolate was the was the last song up there that I actually heard. Um, the, the riffing of the guitars was very impressive. Definitely probably my favorite part of it. Um, I think overall, um, if you, I'm just, I guess I just feel a little bit awkward with the cuteness of it. Uh, the dummy, 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 it was, it was incredibly, incredibly cute. Um, it, it, and when they're dancing, waving their heads around with those, uh, pigtails, um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of my, my, like my baby, uh, cousin, uh, who, who liked to throw a tantrum so I would move her head like that so it was pretty well it was pretty cute um and but overall the music the background playing was incredible musicianship was amazing um the front lady the the main vocals for this group apparently has um has very nice pipes she um she definitely held her own for that uh, particular uh, song. I actually thought that all three of them would like sort of change vocals. I guess I, I can't remember from the Gimme Chocolate how they uh, did before, but you know, like I mentioned, I wasn't really a fan of that song when I heard it, so it didn't really like um, attach much to my memory. But this one was definitely something a lot more impactful for me. So I thought it was great. I thought it was a good performance. Um, I still don't get the people who are, um, like, I'm, I'm not hating on them at all. I'm not a fan of the band still, I gotta say that, but they, there is no denying that there is incredible musicianship with the band, uh, and the girls are putting their hearts out while they're dancing. It's, it's no easy feat to go crazy like that in a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people looking at you all together possibly m waiting for you to make a mistake and you're you're up there dancing your heart out singing your heart out and uh still manages to like get the crowd hyped up although not obviously not the whole crowd but I can see a lot of people screaming their name when uh, when the main vocals was asking like uh, I was trying to hype them up and say their name, so that was that was cool. Um, definitely a good performance. I like the guitar tone, uh, but it, yeah, it sounded way too loud for me in the mix, or like way too big, like that it almost squished the bass. I almost felt a little bit sorry for the bass player, but I can still hear him, which is good. I think it's the important thing is you still cut through the mix and you're actually audible, so I can still hear him. Uh, bass tone was nice almost kind of on the funky side actually but uh, at least for me drummer was amazing pulling those double double kicks um making the uh, like the parse j -j 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 with, with the gallops really really nice so it was it was nicely done i think it was i think this is a good performance i'm glad i checked out the live performance first um but yeah overall pretty good it's a pretty good tune I could probably listen to this if it ended up... I, I might end up actually remembering the lyrics to it if it ended up as one of the opening theme songs for one of the anime shows that I used to watch. That that might have been the case. Cause, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm no stranger to anime. I do watch... An, I did actually watch anime as a kid, so... Um, the music has definitely has those vibes to it. Well, what about you guys? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you liked the video... Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon to be one of the first people to see new content when it's out. And one more reminder, if you want to talk about music, gear, recording, want to hang out while I play video games, head on over to my live stream. I stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Links down in the description below. Once again, thanks for tuning in to Guitars and Bacon. See ya. I can't hear anything.
Where could they be? <laughs>